Peace be upon you all. Today I will talk about self-sufficiency of Quran. Those who think that the Quran is not self-sufficient will reason on the grounds that they belong to such and such a sect or order. Was religion revealed then only for the few and not for all of humanity? Did the Prophet belong to a particular sect or order? What were the sects or orders of the four caliphs? Are there such sects as Hanafi, Shafi, Shia and Wahhabi in the Quran? We must examine the verses of the Quran and try to find answers to these and see if the IT is self-sufficient. In Sure 16 the Honeybee, verse number 89 says, As we have sent down to you the book explaining all things, a guide, a mercy and glad tidings for those who submit, as one can clearly see from this verse, the Quran explains everything and is the only guide. If so, why refer to Bukhari or Muslim or to the books on Islamic catechism, since we can plainly see in the Quran, why insist on appealing for the help of such sects as Hanbali, Shafi, Hanafi, Shi'i, Jafari and Maliki? Considering that God styled us as Muslims as, submitters, must we use such designations as, Sunni, Shi'i and Shafi considering that the attribute Muslim falls short of the mark? So do not believe in any sect or any imam but read and understand Quran.